Hello everyone. My name. Whatever you want to tell me. And today I want to teach y'all how to catch a monster that's living in your room or your car or your tree because apparently everyone owns at least one tree. Welcome to the newest factation news century of America. My name is Queen Z. And today I'm going to teach you how to touch the, the fuck this is officially the classes of whores all of you sluts chillax sit down mama's about to teach you some real good oh my dad and mom must be very proud of me it's too late to catch a monster in the act and tame that monster to do your evil or good bidding Step number one to finding out if you have a monster in your bedroom, look for telltale signs such as scales, feathers, fur, or even slime of some sort. Yes, monsters seem to disperse these things on their nightly cohorts of your terror. Be prepared for the worst, because it could stink, it could look nice, could be glittery, could be glossy, could be anything, but you know what it's not? Good. Do not trust these monsters once you see these things. They may seem nice. Those feathers might be rainbow. Those scales might be glittery and glossy, but just know, down in your deepest hearts of hearts and your souls of souls, it is evil. <laughs> uh, step number two uh, is listen for your monster about where he's hiding. Today, specifically, we're going to be talking about uh, Zuzu the monster. He lives in your windows. Yes, I know Zuzu seems to be a uh, sound like Zazu from The Lion King. This is the morning. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. But no, Zuzu is a totally different monster. He's a he's very terrible, very terrifying. He's a bird monster. Get it? Like birds, window, air. Kind of makes sense when you think about it. So listen for monster sounds. They could be growls. They could be gurgles. They can even be Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. If there's random noises coming from any part of your room that you don't understand, make sure to stop and pray that there ain't gonna be no monster getting you. And then confirm that there is officially a monster in your bedroom. Like that. If there's random noises outside your door, you don't go to that shit. You leave it alone. <laughs> Step in numero three. I forgot the word for three. <laughs> Set the trap for the monster. You must know what kind of monsters there are in this world. Uh, there is the gas monster. They are very disgusting because they stink like burps. If it is a bird monster, that accent is weird. I don't know what that even is. It's like Prince Navin. Pretty much what you're gonna do is, after you have officially confirmed that there is a monster in Diddly Doodly's in your bedroom, you must then set the trap. If there is a bird monster in your bedroom, you need to get worms, you need to get bugs, you need to get lots and lots of creepy crawly things and put them all up in your bedroom. Let spiders get up in your ceiling and your walls, let termites get underneath your bed and to your bed frame. Make sure you let ants stay on your desk right here and put lots of dirt on it so they can survive and ecosystemize th this place of the, your room. This place of your room. If it is a growling monster, which is not Zuzu the monster, which that's okay, I guess, it's probably Sully. If Sully's in your room, make sure you laugh. You'll leave when you laugh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. And if it's any other kind of monster, make sure you head for the hills. Because if you stay for too long, the monster's gonna find out you're trying to hurt it and it's gonna kill you. You're going down. Going down, 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 down. Step number four. Wait, was that number four? Uh, step number four is that if you have confirmed that a monster is officially eating all of the animals <laughs> Step number four is that you've officially concerned for the Step number four is that you have officially confirmed that the monster is officially eating all of the animals in your official bedroom Damn it. It is bugs is the word that I'm looking for God bless America. I will get it right one of these days. Step number four is to officially confirm that the monster is eating all of the bugs in your bedroom. Do not ever consider that it could be the other bugs. That's not how nature works. Bugs do not eat bugs. Bugs are vegetarians. They only eat grass. And spiders do not eat anything but their own webs. That makes no sense. So now that you've officially confirmed that everything is set in place, you need to catch Zuzu in the act. That means set up cameras every single place in your room. You need to make sure and spend specifically $3,000 on cameras, lighting systems, and a recording system. You need to put cameras in specifically every single corner of your room, on the ceiling, on the floor, underneath your bed, in the closet, upside down in the closet, 
and and your clothes hamper you might want to put one extra one in the window because if zuzu's in your window it, like there's a portal that opens up and it kind of just like magically comes through it every single night yeah it's a pretty cool sight you might want to give that one to sci-fi moving on make sure you also have my back's hurting balloons confetti and a cake because whenever Zuzu catches you or any kind of monster in general, then they're going to want a giant party to celebrate that. And if there's lots of cake, balloons, and confetti there, then they don't have to go out and buy any at all logic in their mind. You can't question monster logic. It makes too much sense. Now let's move on. The last step is the last step. This is where it becomes real. Make sure that one, there are no lights on in your room at all. Not even a night light, not even the moon, nothing. You gotta make sure everything is closed up and good to go. Two, if you hear a single sound in the night of your catching, you should naturally assume that it's a monster and you should freak out immediately. Number three, if you see a parent, so to say, come in your room, do not trust that parent. That parent could be Zuzu or any other kind of monster trying to get you duh then you need to tackle that person and be ready to kill them now whenever you get ready to catch zuzu or any kind of monster in general then you need to make sure that you are dressed up in a larva costume and whenever they're about to come and get you you need to make sure you have like a knife and cut open the larva costume and jump out at them because that is how you're going to catch them if you rub the tail of zuzu or any kind of monster the underbelly on the left side then you will get three wishes and it's not aladdin genie wishes rules you can make anybody from the dead come back to life or anybody who you want love you it is the ultimate wish so make sure you always save that last wish for zuzu to be set free from his horrible bonds of this earth and haunting people and children Duh. at the very last minute if you have any doubts always think w w j d what would justin do justin Bieber. He would always tackle the monster like he tackled his fans and tackled the entire social media and ruined it because that's what Justin's good at doing. <laughs> up. Make sure you do just what Justin would Bieber would do. <laughs> that up. And make sure that you do not leave the body if you kill Zuzu or whatever monster is out there. If you leave the body then there will be evidence for all of his monster friends to come back and find you. Hope you guys have liked the video and I love you guys so very very much. As the zombies in World War Z would say, Goodbye.